Yo, peddlers, we just a little, you know, just one block west of Curtis Street, Reynolds, and uh, and Fourth that way. So we're at Third and Curtis right now. Um, we just found out that this one's on a timer. And that one could be on a timer again. It's a small town, but you might want to have it dependent on this light here. This is the main intersection. Again, when it comes to intersections, you definitely want everything depending on the main intersection that is right by uh, you know what i'm saying that that helps transparency you want to keep traffic moving as much as you can um we're going to try to walk first it's kind of a standard you know two phase you got a the side street which is curtis 16 seconds here uh we got alignment on top pretty good two lanes going there turn lane going that way uh, i say 16 it's enough time for me personally however the people that need to turn afterwards it may not be enough time but then again it's a side street that's up to you i like how it turned for me after it turned green I feel like it should do there's no timer on this side or this side which is interesting because uh If you have it, why not use it? I could see if y'all didn't have it and I had it count, but y'all got the whole configuration. There should be a timer that shows up. What say you? Uh, but in terms of length of crossing the street, I was able to cross the street just fine. Um, let's see what we have here. Uh, it's kind of hard to get in the back to show y'all, but I think it's round backs. Because this was made, I want to say, like, 2015, 2016? It seems fairly new. Not as new as the one up this down south from here, but still pretty new. I'm going to push this button again. Also push that button. They both work. I like the beep on that. I'm going to count how much time it gives us going this way. One, two, 15. It came on now, which is weird. I don't know if y'all just knew I was uh, talking about y'all, but now it's on. So, I don't know what's up with that. Uh, one thing is y'all have it programmed at, what is that, Harvey? Um, red arrow for pedestrian if they're turning. I mean, you don't have to do that, but it's just a courtesy. You wanted an easy experience for the people doing it too. See, it's inconsistent. There's not a timer on this side, but I bet it'll come back on later. You know what I'm saying? So, um, very interesting, very interesting. So, yeah, we got the round backs on this side. Since it's right here, I mean, it gives enough. Actually, well, I think it's smart. It gave them enough time to turn despite me walking too. So that's real nice. I like that. I wish I could see some people turn because I'm not really seeing that. 15 seconds, lane going straight, cool. All right, cool, high five, you know what I'm saying, boop. Um, so we're gonna see, um, this is like the edge, a light on the edge of the city. So, I mean, it honestly should be fairly quick. There's not too much traffic this way. So. I'm trying to get some traffic, some turn stuff for you, but I don't know if it's gonna be programmed like that to show y'all that type of stuff. So, I might not be able to get to show you. But this has the flashing yellow and I mean, you have more leniency with the flash and yellow. You know what I'm saying? You don't have to program that. Oh, this is smarter though. It just changed, which is cool. That's what's up. I feel like if y'all gonna do that for the side street, it should be like that for the arrows too. You know what I'm saying? Somebody wants to turn. But at the same time, I understand the uh, programming too, because sometimes you'll have somebody that's coming to turn and uh, they're waiting just for long enough until like it does change and they're already turned about time it does go green and you wasted a phase for nothing. So I get it, I get it. So 
So uh, I'm gonna just see how this reacts a little bit more. Um, I'm not gonna give it too much critique. We have some traffic coming though, so I wonder how it's gonna react. I kind of want to stress test it just uh, just to see. You know what I'm saying what it does. I'll wait on the next wave of uh, well, I don't know if there's gonna be another wave of traffic if this light turns red though. So. It stays just a standard green for them while they're turning the corner. I don't know if y'all can see the flashing yellow at all. It's a better experience with my camera, actual camera, rather than a cell phone camera. Uh, but. Ooh, so we got a truck coming that's wanting to turn. So we're going to see if it changes for them. Probably not. Nope. I think they have this program to be later, to be honest. Like if no one's there and they're not able to turn, they'll turn for them later. Which again, I understand with the flashing yellow with this not busy intersection, but uh, relative of ease is cool too. All right, team, we're gonna go ahead and find a light in the city for me to critique. And uh, we'll be back at y'all soon.